On a summer day, it's great to play until the mosquitoes come out. They're just the worst. They're like everywhere, especially in like the grass and stuff. So I'm like walking through fields, just biting me all over and it gets so itchy. I hate them. If there's a mass extinction on the planet, I would beg it to be mosquitoes. They're a nightmare. Now, one more reason to loathe the creatures. A so-called urban mosquito named Culex pipians, one that carries the West Nile virus. What we're seeing here is Culex pipians in every level of development. They breed quickly. They thrive in cities. And all it takes is a bit of standing water, a catch basin, bird bath, even a puddle to create multiple generations. I will say we have been surprised at the scope of how well Culex pipians is thriving in, this, in, in our city and in this new environment. So we are gearing up to, you know, we're trying to get the message out because it really is something new. The breed first arrived in southern Ontario in 2001 and the first West Nile virus cases in humans we're seeing a year later. These are the invasive mosquitoes we've been talking about. Experts say it's now proven it can survive a prairie winter. It's able to colonize human habitats extremely well because it can use our homes as overwintering sites so it can survive cold winters. Um, it's invasive because it's not from this area and it spreads very rapidly when it gets into new habitats. West Nile virus is generally mild but can cause severe neurological problems. The virus can also affect pets and horses. But I do think that there's a growing realization that with climate change and with the number of invasive mosquitoes in Canada rising, that this is going to be a problem that isn't going away and we need to start addressing it. One more reason to avoid mosquitoes, and when you can't, use bug spray. Terry Reith, CBC News, Edmonton.